Hi there, this video outlines the flow of genetic information. So when we look at the molecular level in the cell, we know we have molecules such as DNA and RNA, and I'll highlight some differences a little bit as we go. I've covered that in other videos. Uh, but DNA is a double-stranded molecule. I'm gonna draw just kind of a rough sketch here. And it's called a double helix. It makes a helical shape. And that has to do with the bonding and then the twisting uh, of the helix itself. So this is our DNA. And remember, DNA consists of a series of monomers, which are nucleotides. And nucleotides are made up of nitrogenous bases, such as adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. And then it's also made up of a five carbon sugar deoxyribose, that's the D in DNA. And then it has a phosphate group uh, on the very outside. So there's a couple of things happening here. So you can have a DNA replication, and that's occurring during processes such as binary fission in bacteria or mitosis and meiosis in uh, eukaryotic cells, depending on the cell type. And in DNA replication, you're making duplicate copies of the DNA that are passed down to the daughter cell. Meiosis is a bit of a variation on that, uh, but I'm just gonna kind of go through the very basics here. So the idea is that you would be making copies that would be then passed down in either prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells. So that's one flow. Uh, the main flow in the cell itself uh, that's going on kind of on an uh, ongoing basis is the process of transcription and translation. So transcription is where you're taking the genetic information that's in DNA and you're putting it into a kind of movable molecule, which is the mRNA. I'd like to make that green here. Okay. And this is M or messenger RNA. It's carrying the message. So this is your mRNA. Now in eukaryotes, this is gonna actually leave the nucleus and go out into the cytoplasm. In prokaryotes, such as bacteria, everything is contained and so it's happening all together within the cytoplasm. And then the final step of that occurs at the ribosome. And this is true for prokaryotic or eukaryotic cell types. So here's our ribosome. And now our messenger RNA so I'll label this again, is going to be read at the ribosome. And now it's going to be translated. So now um, I think of that as we're changing languages. We're going from a uh, nucleotide language to an amino acid language. And this is occurring at the ribosome. So as the mRNA moves through the ribosome, there's another type of molecule called tRNA. And it's also single-stranded. Uh, like the messenger RNA, and tRNA stands for transfer RNA. And what it actually does is it reads the A, U, C, and G sequence that's on the mRNA, and it brings over uh, the appropriate amino acid. So what's happening over here at the ribosome is you are slowly building an amino acid chain. And then ultimately that amino acid chain gets folded into a functional protein. Right now it's just a long chain. And so proteins have things like secondary, tertiary, quaternary structure that all relate to that three-dimensional folding. It's not just a single linear chain. It's folded into specific shapes. So it's folded into a protein. And remember that proteins have to have very, very, very specific shapes. And I'm just kind of making up a specific shape here in order for it to function properly. So this chain would then have to be folded into that. 
So again, just quickly to review, we look at the flow of genetic information. So we're looking at this protein synthesis pathway where we have transcription of the information in the DNA, that's the A, T, C's, and G's, into messenger RNA, which are the A, U's, C's, and G's. So remember, we're using uracil in place of thymine. And then that information is carried to the ribosome, and the ribosome is the site of, we say, the site of protein synthesis. Oh, one quick side note here on the ribosome, that the ribosome is made up of rRNA, which is ribosomal RNA, and proteins. So if you see rRNA, you kind of wonder where that comes into play. Uh, that's at the ribosome. It actually makes up the ribosome. So again, that message is carried to the ribosome. The transfer RNA reads uh, the messenger RNA, and it reads it in these groups of threes called codons, which is just every three bases is considered uh, a codon in messenger RNA. And then based on that, that transfer RNA will bring over the appropriate amino acid to that spot. And that's what I have for flow genetics. Oh, also before I forget, the other uh, pathway, and they're not necessarily related, except that they start from the original starting molecule, is during various types of cell division, you are making new copies. That's that semi-conservative replication. You're making identical copies, but it's DNA into two identical copies of DNA. Okay, uh, that's all I have on this. Please contact me with any questions you may have.